Here in Wisconsin, we know the importance of keeping the heat on, especially when it's gotten as chilly as it has this winter. The statewide nonprofit is providing a safety net for those who are having trouble affording their next energy bill, including seniors and veterans. Our Madeline O'Neill tells us what the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund means for one Wisconsin family. It was a blessing. It was a godsend. Go get it. Anywhere Kelly Williams and Miko Funches are together feels like home. Penguins and what's the other one? Ducks. Ducks. <laughs> they mate for life, so that's our deal. But even their level of happiness <laughs> isn't enough to power a house. We actually did get to disconnected. It was absolutely horrible. Worst, yeah. worst week we've I ever had. It was. It was. Last year, Miko, a Marine veteran, was having a hard time finding work after an accident. I was also physically not able to work. The looming bills and cold posed a threat to their happy home. You don't want to be without heat. We, we have pets. You know, I was concerned for their safety as, as well as our own. Kelly looked for outside help. I was a little apprehensive. A lot of times when you think about military guys, you don't always think that they need assistance or need help. So for me, I, I sat back and just watched the miracle and the magic happen. Kelly got a hold of Energy Services, which offers the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Initiative and Heat for Heroes program. <laughs> Oh, yeah. With financial assistance and a payment plan, Kelly and Miko were able to keep the lights on and use spare money for food and medicine. Where do you think you guys would be without this program? <laughs> wow. Uh, I don't even want to think yeah, about it, to be honest with you. That's the toughest part. The, we could the, be the homeless. Aspect, absolutely. Instead, a helping hand from others is powering them forward. You know, everybody needs help. Absolutely. All the time. Absolutely. You know, all kinds of people, all different walks of life. So go ahead and reach out and, and ask for that help. In Madison. Lights are on. Yeah. Lights on. Yes. Things are good. Madeline O'Neill, News 3 Now. We want to remind you about our Day of Warmth Telethon happening tomorrow. News 3 Now partnering with Energy Services, Inc. From 4 to 6.30 tomorrow evening, we'll be taking your calls and your donations in a phone bank. You can also donate all day online. We hope you can join us tomorrow to share the warmth in our community. More to come.